Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and it's night time. So I've had to put blue tack underneath my camera to get it just to stay bloody still because every time I press record it bloody wobbles and it's driving me nuts. Right guys, this is something that I want to do because it's a little bit of who I am and when you're doing your channel it's obviously based around things that you like so a lot of us like beauty, a lot of us like nails a lot of us like clothing, a lot of us like shoes, and I think majority of us, it's an everyday kind of like for a woman. But I have other kind of things that I like. So this is why I find it a struggle when all my kind of income or any money I've got left goes on cosmetics completely all the time because my other kind of hobbies suffer. So as you know, you've seen my collection of skulls and fairies and all kinds of nemesis and Anne Stokes collectible things that I do have. I've even got my cup here, which you've seen before in beautiful colours. But I also have a love of music and um, everybody's got their own kind of taste of music. I have a variety of um, tastes. I'm not just one kind of music girl, although some people go, well, you're either this or you're that. No, sorry, I got brought up on um, old rock music, so I kind of like my glam rock. I grew up on that 80s music, so I like my 80s music. I also grew up on dance, because I used to be a dancer, so I like my dance music. I like my underground rave music. That doesn't mean I can't be a metalhead, so do you get me? So I do like metal, I do like rock, I do like gothic alternative music, I like industrial. The only thing I, I can't really tolerate too much of for too long is like rap. I like R&B, but I just, I just can't listen to too much rap. So, um, and that's not because I hate it. I don't hate it. I think all music is brilliant, including classical music. So, I'm going to just do a quick video. Well, it's not going to be a quick video. It's going to be a long video. So, sit tight. So, I collect albums, guys. Me and my husband collect albums. So, it's something that we do together as husband and wife. We used to do a vinyl night and we used to go to pubs and people would bring their own albums or singles and they would get three songs, they'd get to pick what they want for 10 minutes. Obviously if their one song is 10 minutes, like mine usually is, you get to pick one song. And um, we've not done it for a while because of other reasons and commitments and so forth and six weeks holidays we've had to dedicate our time to sack. So we've not been doing it for a while but that doesn't stop our love of music. So I've just got a handful of albums just to kind of show you what kind of music I do like in general. So the first one I've got here, most of you will go, who? Rammstein. So guys, Rammstein is a German um, industrial band, gothic, metal, whatever you want to call it. They kind of go in all kinds of categories and a lot of their music is in German, but we just love it. My favourite song of Ramstein is um, Du Hast and Ich Will. And if you've never heard of any Ramstein and you do like your metal, just go and check them out. I mean, somebody's asked me to do some music reviews, like listening to bands and how I kind of my reaction. But I don't think I'd react in a in a way anyway because I've, I've always listened to metal for a very long time. So. So that's one album. That's not what we're going to do a review on today. And then another one that you've probably all heard of is Slipknot. So I do like Slipknot, although I don't like the masks too much. I think if I went to see them live, I'd be a little bit on the anxious side just because of the masks. I'd probably end up sweating my, my backside off. Now, we do like some albums that are made from like films or programs, that kind of thing. So we are big into Stranger Things. So we bought the Stranger Things album and there's a lot of songs on there that I absolutely love. Um, a lot of 80s music is on here because it's based around the 80s. And uh, we got this and we love it. So yeah, that's another one. And then Disturbed is another one that we both like. So these are the joint albums that me and Ben collect because we have a lot that we collect together. Ben's got his own because Ben is into the really death metal, thrash metal. I don't really go that far up into the metal. I would like a, an album of Evil Scarecrow because as you know, I did go and see them. Now my music is here. This is not just all my albums, this is just a few. Now, not a lot of people have heard of these bands. So this is Porcupine Tree. 
and um, if you like my favourite band which is Orpeth you will like these and the guy actually, I can't remember his name he actually recorded with Orpeth I just think that album is so out there and strange and weird and quirky and I like that and some of their music like um, Heart Attack and a Lay By you might think that that title is right kind of creepy but the song when you listen to the words and the whole musical lyrical yeah it's it's just far out there really good and then another band that i got told because i liked all pair somebody turned around and said well why don't you listen to catatonia and then i started listening to catatonia and this was one of their new albums i don't know a lot of the songs on here but i have listened to a few and i absolutely love it so yeah so these are all based around the same kind of music now let me just put this one aside because this is one of the bands that we're going to do a review on and this one and let me just grab a few more and then this one so i've got three albums of my favorite band i did have every single cd i sold them so i could um, change my cds for vinyl but i've not quite caught up and i don't think i'll ever catch up because vinyl is quite expensive albums are quite expensive now this is a bit of a different one and my reason behind this it's Fever Ray, and if you've never heard of Fever Ray, if you ever watched the programme Vikings, Fever Ray's song, which is um, If I Had a Heart, is the opening song to the Vikings. Um, when I first started watching Vikings, ooh, I get... Guys, you know you're all this ASMR thing. Music gives me ASMR. Music gives me tingles. I can't explain it. I love music. So this um, album, I spotted through that one song, and then I bought it and i absolutely love every single song that she does she's so quirky she's so weird but i love it and a lot of my friends have jumped on the fever air bandwagon and actually do like her music okay next um i don't know if everybody knows who these are this is an american um band and this is three days grace these are a little bit more light lighter than your usual metal and rock and the first song i ever heard on this was i hate everything about you and at the time I was in a relationship and um, I kind of played it and dedicated it to that person. And um, it's all part of growing up, I suppose. And that kind of song stuck with me. And then I just started listening to them as a band and I loved them and I nearly broke it then. Amaranth is a new kind of um, band that I've started picking up on. I have got three of their albums now. I do like it, it's a female singer. I do like uh, metal female singers. I love Nightwish. Um, I kind of was more into Tarja, but Tarja's not in it anymore. And um, so I like Cameron. There is a singer that's female on that, and she's brilliant. And I, I love one of the guys in there. He's absolutely gorgeous. And then with that is Emily. So Emily is one of the first kind of female um, singers in this kind of genre that I absolutely fell in love with. Not only is she beautiful, her voice is mesmerising. I absolutely love her. I've not seen Evanescent live yet. Maybe one day I will, I don't know. My my disability kind of stops me from going to concerts now. It used to be a biggest passion of mine. I was at gigs constantly. And I mean, every weekend, me and my daughter, my eldest daughter, we'd get tickets because she was into the same kind of music as me. We'd get tickets and we'd go and see Blooming Asking Alexandra. We've been to see, um, oh God, what are they called? Bring Me The Horizon, we've seen um, Bullet For My Valentine. Oh God, we've seen absolutely loads of bands. I mean, I've seen Zach Wilde, which I absolutely adore, which is Black Label Society. I love them as well. And you can tell that I'm getting all excited because I love this music. Uh, last but not least, this is my latest album. I haven't bought any album since I went into this kind of blogging industry. So I need to get back into it somewhere along the line and carry on my collection. So this is Wadruna, guys. And you're probably thinking, whoa, Wadruna. So guys, if you've not guessed, I am into quirky kind of things. I absolutely love Vikings. I love Game of Thrones. Um, I love The Walking Dead. I like anything quirky like that. But Vikings is probably like my favourite. And um, I was so in love with Ragnar. But it got me onto the bandwagon of Fever Ray, which then got me into the music that was played in the TV show. And then I started listening to it on YouTube. So you see where I'm going. YouTube for me was music at the beginning. I didn't watch any other influencers. I just watched music bands and that was kind of where I went from there. And I started watching like music reactions and then people playing instruments and, and here I am. 
So Wadruna is a Viking kind of music band and it's all kind of, I find it very relaxing guys. If you've ever listened to Enigma, um, where's where my, my name's kind of stemmed from. I used to be a big fan of Enigma, which is like, um, how can you explain Enigma? Mm, oh God, it's like Latin kind of churchy, kind of relaxing meditation music. So when I heard Wadruna, I absolutely loved it. And I like all Viking music, so I would like to expand my collection and get more albums on there. Right, so then we get to my favourite band, and this is Opeth. If you've probably noticed my tattoo, you will notice that this, if you're all wondering what this means, and I've got my morphine on top of it. So this symbol here with the orchid, this is my Opeth. Opeth. So this is my favourite band, and I have literally only seen them once, and I got to meet Machiel, which, these are a Swedish band, guys. And I brought a little bit thing down because I probably won't remember while I'm on camera. Right, so they formed, from what I can see, it says 1989 and 1990, that I can't really make mind up, but they were formed and the lead singer, who's Mikael Ackerfeldt, I can never say his name, he is literally one of the first and still is because he's, I think he does the, I'm not sure if he's doing the bass. I'm not no, I don't think he does the bass. I think he does do the guitars, but he does the vocals as well. Now his vocals have changed. The music style has changed a little bit in Opeth, and it's I'm not disappointed. I just don't feel the need to listen to him as much as I used to because that they've changed. His voice has changed. He's well known for his growls and his tone, and um, he doesn't really do it so much now. I mean, I haven't got the latest album, which is um, in Cordy Vinium, 2019. I'm not sure if it's out yet. I know that um, in 1995 came Orchid, which is that one. I actually love that album. Then Morning Rise came in 1996. And then in 1998, um, the year that my son was born, was um, My Arms, Your Hearse. Very, very quirky uh, names. 2003 is Damnation, and I absolutely love that album as well. And that was when my daughter was born. 2002 was Deliverance, and I used to have all these albums, and I'm quite gutted I don't. Ghost Reveries was 2005. Heritage was 2011. It started to change up when it got to Heritage, so it was like, hmm, it's changing a little bit here. Blackwater Park, one of the best, best, best songs that they ever, ever came out with. It's like, I think about 20 minutes long. It's absolutely fantastic. Sorceress, which is what I've got here. Um, yeah. 2016 i got it i've not really sat down and listened to it properly yet and i'm not really gelling with it watershed was 2008 pale communion was 2014 still life which is my ultimate favorite album of all was 1999 and then lamination was 2003 again so we've got two out in 2003 you've got a damnation and lamination i don't know if there was a, a thing and then there was two dvds the roundhouse 2007 and there's another one because i've got both of the dvds which was bought from an old friend. So they're from Stockholm in Sweden. Um, Makia Mekel, Mekel, however you say his name. Guys, if you're watching this and you do like Opeth, how the bloody hell do you say his name? So his birthday is uh, in April. He's actually 45. Well, I'm quite shocked about that. So it's progressive metal, it's black metal, it's um, alternative rock, they've got technical death metal. Still Life was their first album recorded by somebody called Mendes. I'm not too sure if he's still in the picture now. Um, but it was formed by David Isberg. And it actually has down as vocal, bass, guitar. So I'm not too sure. I always thought Machiel was always the singer for Opeth. I don't know, maybe that was different. So, members, have we got now? I can't say half these names, guys. We've got Martin Axenrot, who's the um, acoustic drums. Guys, I do, I used to play drums, I don't anymore, I kind of give it up, good good while when my leg, maybe back in 2010, 2011 I quit and I should have carried on because I probably would have been really good by now. Um, we've got the percussion and that was Joachim Savlyberg, that was 2011, Frederick Ackerson, his guitars, 2007 since he's been there, Martin Mendes, which we've just been on about, his bass guitar and he came in 1997, so obviously Machiel's always been in Opeth, so I don't know about David Isberg, maybe he formed the group and still is a part of it, he's just a silent partner, 
I don't know, maybe, I don't know. So that is all Peth, guys. And album wise, this is my ultimate favorite one, which is Still Life. If you've never listened to um, All Peth and you're not really into the heavy kind of metal because they do a bit of everything, I would actually go and listen to Benighted. I will link Benighted down below. I want you to go and listen to it, guys, and tell me what you actually think. Why? Close your eyes and just listen to it and see if you got the feeling that I got when I first listened to Benighted. I absolutely love it. Um, and then there's another album that I absolutely love that's got another song, which I don't have on here. And then this album, which is my other favourite one, which you heard me say, has got Black Rose Immortal on, which is one of the songs that I absolutely love. Um, and so far, I've only got three. This is the one that I was telling you about. I'm not quite into this album as of yet. If you're wondering what the boys look like, I think they may have some pictures of them, maybe. No, no. That has the lyrics inside that one, guys. If you've noticed, I keep all my um, vinyl albums in plastic just to protect the cover. And if my husband's watching this back, he'll go, what the hell is she doing with that album? Get it in, quick. What's she doing? She's stretching the plastic. <laughs> right, one of them's got to have a picture of them in. Surely to God, I don't think that has. And I'm not sure if the new album has either. Well, this is the nearest. Now, yeah, well, yeah, it has actually, but they all look like freaks. I don't think I want to show you them looking like that. You'd be like, what the hell's that? Uh, I, don't, I don't think they ever appear on the albums. Oh, slightly. You, they're there on the bottom. So yeah, they've all got long hair. They all kind of look like they're a metal band. Look, a bit like my husband. He's like got a long beard, got long hair. That's just, yeah. So guys, that is my little introduction to music. So guys, I do like a lot of dance and people will wonder, like when I post some of my songs from YouTube onto my Facebook, people are confused. It's like, what does she like? Does she like dance or does she like metal? Does she like rock or does she like 80s? I don't quite understand. Guys, I'm versatile, I like everything. I do like all kinds of music. I just like music. Music is a passion of mine. Um, I like I said, drums i like to play the drums my dad plays the keyboard and he plays a guitar my father-in-law also plays a clarinet blooming all kinds of piano guitar drums because he's a music teacher and obviously my husband plays um keyboard piano and the guitar We're trying to get sack into music at the minute we've bought him a drum kit we've bought him an electric guitar we've bought him a keyboard he doesn't seem interested in any of them yet so we've got to keep going okay guys so that is it that is just a little introduction to what else I collect. If any of you guys who do like that kind of music want to see any more of my crazy kind of album collection and any more info on bands that I like, pop a comment on below. But if you're not and you've watched this, thumbs up because not everybody's into this kind of music and not everybody's into music. So, um, oh, just pop a comment on and tell me what your favourite band or music or song is. And then if I know anything about it, I could come back and do a review. All right. And I do actually like George Michael as well, guys, funny enough. So, mm. all right, guys, take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to ring the bell. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now. Good night.